Hello, welcome. So in this video we're going to add the hair. So it looks like this. It has that dragging effect that helps to add or follow through to our animation. So let's start. It's actually pretty easy, much faster than the torso we did before. So let's begin. Here is my file form from my previous video. I'm just going to collapse everything, click on the shy button and collapse this. And I'm going to solo the hair. It's here, unlock it and solo it. Press Ctrl R to see, actually here, Ctrl R to see my uh, rulers. I'm going to select this one and let's center this. And let's go to the Puppet Pin tool and let's click here on the top. Now again we have to go to Legacy and we're going to make four pins. So the next one should be around here. The next one should be around here and the last one here. Oh, something I forgot to tell you, in case you don't know, is that if you create starch uh, pins, you can always move them. Uh, that's not the case with puppet pins. If you move a puppet pin, it starts deforming everything. So I'm just going to Ctrl C to remove it. And again, I'm in my puppet pin tool and going to click on the form and now let's name this the first one is the one on the top this one is going to be hair one then the one below hair two three and four Now let's click here on the form, now in bonds, and we have four bonds. Now the process is the same. Let's press R, F2 to, to deselect everything, and let's make childs. Hair 4 has to be the child of hair 3. and all the way to hair one and now hair one oh i can remove this press ctrl r now this controls everything we can make uh, oh, we can uh, use our expressions now so again hair four doesn't do anything so let's start on hair three I'll click, let's click here and go to rotation of hair 2, I'll click and let's go to rotation of hair 1. Now we have this and it's perfect. Now let's see, we have to make a hair the artwork layer, the illustrator layer, we have to make a child of hair one and hair one will be child of face. Now let's collapse everything and let's take the solo out of these ones and let's see what do we have. Okay, now 
the hair is following and hair one if we press r we can control the hair now i'm going to make a small animation uh, click here uh, move forward 10 frames 12 and then oh, then 5 minus 5 and 0 now we have this movement but we don't see the drag effect we're going to add that with a simple expression so check this out let's select both of these press E two times to reveal the expressions we created and to see this clearly I'm going to call my expressionist extension you can get it in aascripts.com and let's see it's here uh, okay and we have this expression right now now this expression is right here it's the same thing we can see it clearly here and it's taking the value of a b hair 2 rotation now we are just going to add this period value at time it's important to check the caps here on these two letters uh, now let's open and close parentheses and we're going to write time so what does this expression do it uh, finds the value of this uh, property on a given moment if we just leave it as time it's going to look for the value at the same moment but if we uh, add or take time it's going to create a, an offset effect so what if I add minus one it's going to look for the value one second before but one second is too much I just want one frame so we just have to divide it by the numbers of frames per second of our composition so that's it in my case I want uh, this expression to look at two frames uh, before so 2 slash 24 and that's it if I click here it applies the expression and it's perfect I'm just going, uh, going to copy this and place it here and it's the same process I can move this away and let's see what happens now we can start seeing it here I'm going to add some more uh, rotation and there it is we can see the dragging effect and it's great 
now I can add a effect here so we can control the hair from this uh, control layer going to make some room control D to duplicate hair going to lock this I'll click here and this can be controlled by this effect I can delete these uh, keyframes I can unlock this and now the same layer that controls all the head movement can control the hair as well and that's it now this is a perfect rig that uh, you can work with and you can have a separate control over the head neck and hair but if you want to connect the movement of the hair to the movement of the neck and head we can do it I'm going to uh, remove this effect and instead I'm going to go here press E two times to see the expression I'm going to remove it so we don't get that error and I'm going to look for the rotation here and here too uh, the head rotation I'm going to lock this and I'm going to alt click here I'm going to drag this whip to my head my head rotation here so now what if I move this the neck it's going to rotate too perfect now since we had some drag remember here we had the value at time expression since we are adding like one more step to that chain I'm going to copy this value at time starting with the period and I'm going to do the same thing here I'm going to paste it here I'm going to make it visible here so you can check it I just added period value at time time minus 2 slash 24 so we get another like one extra step of offset and that's it now the neck won't like won't rotate too much like this so we can do a little trick uh, to make it more uh, to make it more obvious that the hair is moving so we can do this we can multiply this using the asterisk and then two so if I rotate the neck just like this the hair it's going to move uh, more like it's gonna double the value so it's more visible the movement and dragging of the hair now we have uh, one little thing if we move this the neck moves the hair moves and that's great but if we move the head the hair is not uh, moving like it should so we just have to add here we have to add it here so plus and let's use this and go here to the effect here and let's do the same thing uh, multiply it by 2 
So at the end, that expression looks like this. Both values are multiplied by 2. And there's a plus here. So now let's let's test test it. On minus eight four minus two and zero. F9. Now, if you realize there's something looking weird, it's because it is. We have to multiply by negative 2. So let's add a minus sign there and a minus sign here as well. Now it's going to make sense. And that's it. We have all we need to have that sexy dragging effect on the hair. I'm going to collapse all these. I'm going to lock it. I'm going to hide the bones. Activate the shy here and here. And that's it. We have a flexible torso, we have a dragging, uh, overlapping, follow through effect on the hair. And I hope you like this tutorial. I hope you find it useful. Please subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you like it. I'm going to try to make more tutorials, keep practicing my English because I know it, sometimes it gets hard to me to explain everything. And please, you are welcome to follow me on my Instagram. My All the links are going to be on the description. All the files will be available on the description too. And see you on the next video.